This short video is on starting the process of training oneself to be able to reflect in meditation. So I'm going to talk mostly from the basis of principles and then build up from there into a practical level. One of the first principles of reflection is that it's what I would call connected thinking. A way that I think about this, or a word which I think is appropriate here, is mulling over or turning over. So when I sort of mull over a particular topic, it's not what I would call hard thinking. Uh, it's feeling it as well. And the, uh, the turning it over is quite uh, subtle. It's not what, say, I would call thinking from the front of the head. It's more like at the back of the mind, just turning something over and connecting the, the thoughts or the ideas or the reflections with one's experience at the time. And I think this is another principle, really, that the, uh, the reflection, ideally, is connected with what is actually going on rather than arbitrarily abstract about something. So, uh, let's say, for example, a simple example is if you want to reflect on the fact that things change, it's actually uh, good to practice reflection on the basis of being aware of your body or your breath or your mental states actually in a process of change. So that the turning of it, turning over of the fact or the truth of change uh, is connected with an actual moment to moment experience. And this brings out another important uh, aspect of reflection, which is that reflection isn't the kind of thinking that blocks you off from experience. It can happen simultaneously with experience. So you can be actually in touch with your body, in actually in the experience of your mood and your, your qualities of mind while the thought goes on. And this is part of the art of reflection. To explore and, in a way, to play with different kinds of reflection so that uh, you have this, you work towards this way of reflecting which allows you to stay in touch and be quite absorbed even uh, in an experience uh, while the reflection is going on. And so in this way, the reflection is grounded in experience and connected to experience rather than disassociated. Now, over the course of a couple of different videos, I'm going to talk about how these principles can be applied in different contexts. But very generally, these are the principles. So it's subtle. Uh, quiet thinking that's connected with actual experience and doesn't block experience. And that on the whole, it allows you to have responses in relationship to the uh, actual reflection that's going on. So I'll give one more example before finishing. Let's say, for example, your general intention is to be very present and alive to your experience, engaged with your experience. And you notice that uh, you keep going away into some sort of uh, abstract thinking. What you can do is that you can start to ask yourself a question like, what's the implication of going away like that all the time? So this is the start of a reflection or mulling over process. You ask yourself a question 
that uh, allows your being to get a sense of what the implications are. It even allows for your imagination to be involved uh, in that process. And you start to get a sense, well, you know, five years, 10 years, 20 years down the line, I'll be more and more that kind of person or th who does that and less connected, less able to connect and be in a process of awareness. And because the thinking uh, and the, the imaginative sense of that is connected with how you actually are, it allows for responses of, well, no, that isn't what I want. I want to be here, I want to be present. So in that way, the reflection actually brings you more into the experience of what is going on at the moment.